another live clip. This time it's a Graham Elwood video that I haven't seen. There's going to be a real reaction. Like, no precursors, no nothing. I've heard people like, oh, have you seen the Graham Elwood video? And that's that's kind of that's kind of it. But uh, all right, name of the video is "Anti Vaxxers Don't Care About Vaccine Apartheid." <laughs> Some reason I just I almost just guess where he's gonna go with this. But uh, we're gonna react to it. I have not seen this before. It should be interesting. Uh, don't forget to share, support, hopefully donate to demonstrating to recovery, to helping victims of Africom. Helping out Cohen Daly, the Australian boy. Also help out some content creators. Stevie, a.k.a. Redneckonomics. Sleepy J, buy him a coffee. Which means, you know, donation. Supporting him. And also, Ali Alexandra. All links in the description box. All right. Here we go. Graham Elwood. Graham Elwood. <laughs> You're going to need to come to grips with the fact that currently we have vaccine... Apartheid. There are poor countries, uh, whole continents that do not have vaccines. 2% of everyone on the continent of Africa has been vaccinated. They're begging for the vaccine. So you're going to have to continue to address that. It's, it's not Bill Gates on. All the anti-vaccine mandate, all the vac- anti-no passport, all those people can't seem to answer that question for me. Why are the third world countries not getting it? I'll tell you why. There's no money in it. Plus, nobody can tell me. Uh, I doubt you're old enough to have had a vaccine passport. I've had one for 20 years. Got one 20 years ago. Going to third world countries, you get a vaccine passport. It's not a new thing. We've had vaccine mandates in schools for... for oh, don't fucking... Four or five wrong. decades? I don't know. So... Um, okay. Well, he's kind of taken the argument out of... It, that that seems like it would be stepping out of the good faith side of the argument, right? Because he's not actually taking the counter argument serious. It does seem that way, right? To me, it seems that way. But I could be wrong. We'll see more. Also, uh, well, they're not selling it to the third world because there's no money in it. Well, I'm thinking about it. Don't they... What would that have to do with the the safety of the vaccine? Does that have to do with that, or even the 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 social law, the social human right thing of being able to choose what you do? And by the way, there's plenty of people who are against their children mandatory vaccines for for going to schools and shit like that. Not as many because it's it's been become so ingrained. And let's be real. Past generations probably maybe questioned it less. And because they didn't have as much communication with each other, because there wasn't like the internet and shit like that, where they can look up a video hearing about like, hey, this is what vaccines can do. To where they're like, okay, maybe I'm, I don't want this mandate thing in schools. There's a whole bunch of little nuances there. But let's... Okay. Well, if you go the deep dark conspiracy route, right, wouldn't, if they were testing out the vaccine in third world countries, it wouldn't be about, it wouldn't directly be about the money. It'd be about testing these vaccines to eventually make money later on. A whole bunch of logic, nuanced things here that need to be accounted for. But let's hear them out. It's only a minute in. Um, something for you to consider. Because there's all these poor countries that are like, it's it's unfair that first world countries, this is the inequity, this is the racism that I'm not hearing anybody up, talk Ant? about, is where are our first doses? Third, first world countries are about to get a third dose. They're like, we, they've thrown away extra vaccines in some first, America being one of them. They won't ship them. The pharmaceutical companies can't make money off of poor countries, so they don't give a shit. And so think of that, because I don't hear that. I don't hear that argument from any of the anti-vaccine, any of the no mandate crowd, no passport crowd. I don't hear that from any of them ever, ever. It's all people in first world countries complaining. 
The entire continent of Africa has a 2% vaccine rate. They're begging for it. India, with 1.3 billion people, and it has like 5 to 10%. They're begging for it. Now, I remember this, this is not going to be like some scientific thing, statement I'm about to make, but I remember on Twitter, they basically got like something like Bill Gates trending that allegedly, that seemed and looked like African Twitter accounts that were saying like, hey, this guy's been doing this in our fucking, in our country, on our continent for whatever years. Once again, that's not very scientific, but at the same time, it's like, it's, it's anecdotal, but, and I've heard much more from people who actually do the study, study shit. And what's up, Brian? All right, here we go. Brazil begging for it. Right wing dictator Bolsonaro didn't want to give anybody vaccines. He said, what the hell with it? Russia offered Brazil its Sputnik V vaccine. America said, Brazil, if you expect, accept the Russian vaccine, we won't give you money anymore. So we're helping kill people, but not the way you think. So I don't hear anybody saying that. I don't hear anybody investigating that. Oh, this one doctor with this one study. Great. I'm all for it. I'm all for a doctor with a study, but it needs to be peer reviewed. If it's not a peer reviewed study, it's just one person's opinion. Oh, uh, that would, uh, that would help you. That would help someone who isn't a scientist. That may, that may help them be like, okay, this there's a consensus about this. Maybe it's more likely to be the case. But then again, we are talking about something that much more people are looking into in regards to who are the who are the people advocating, who are the peer reviewers. Is there because this I've seen not in the uh, the COVID vaccine realm, but I've seen it in the the cancer realm, where they will approve certain drugs and all that shit, kind of unanimously, even if scientifically may not add up according to other people. Right? I'm not a scientist myself, but just hearing other people say, Hey, this is wrong here, here, and here, but it's kind of brushed to the side because there's a consensus on making sure this thing goes through or, uh, these guys are playing that. What's the word? Like that carousel from, <laughs> from working at the FDA to working for the drug company, to working to the FDA, to working for the drug company, just like we see a lot of these guys are, oh, you're the, whatever, economic secretary, and then you leave office, and then you're working for Goldman Sachs, and then five years later, you go back to working in the government. Five years after that, you go back to working in the fucking private company. Like a revolving door. That would be the word. Same thing with military and defense and all that shit. Just right now, I'm just throwing out logical, like why there is a logical argument counter what Graham is saying. But here we go. Not an expert on this topic at all. Here we go. And then like, oh, this one doctor and there's like a general practitioner. Up, are they are they an expert in viruses in vaccines? Are they do they work in that epidemiology? Do they are, is that their field of expertise? Because this, like, I found one doctor, I found one study, sounds like the climate deniers do this. That's what they do. Now they're no-no in argument, <laughs> argumentation. <laughs> kind of a no-no. I mean, I hear it when people do it, like, shit-talking-wise. But... That is such a notion we hear. That's the Call of Duty guys saying, calling them flat earthers for thinking that Act. Oh, yeah, right. Activision. Why would they do this? They're only a you know, multi-billion-dollar corporation that makes money off their games being a certain way. And if you pay for your game to be better, yeah, that could pay to win. It's like, yeah, but they don't quite tell you it's pay to win. But kind of, you know, kind of unpar with what they would do. <laughs> But yeah, once again, it's essentially just saying tinfoil hat words. 
Then yeah. Venetia David, shave your knuckles for justice. Thank you for supporting us at rockman.com slash Graham Elwood. I have yet to hear one, one argument. I'm not seeing anything in this chat. Where are you people about third world countries begging for the vaccine? I have not gotten one single goddamn answer from one single goddamn anti-vaccine, anti-mandate, anti-passport person. How can you explain that to me? I have no, where is your answer for that? Herd immunity? Oh, really? Is that why they ran out of wood in India? burning all the dead COVID bodies? Can you answer this to me? I can't, no one can give me an answer for this. I have no idea how legit that. I just want to say that uh, when he moves around fast, it looks like he's wearing a Barry Bonds earring. I want to say that. Let me continue. Why are hospitals just in America right now overflowing with unvaccinated COVID patients? 90% and now, again, the, the, the one thing, because the me, I don't want to get vaccine. I don't want a passport. Me, me, it's all me, me, me. What about the fact that your hospital is now full? So you have a car accident, you have a stroke, you have a heart attack, you have gallstones. A, a veteran died in Texas because they had gallstones, a very, very easy procedure for a surgeon to take care of. No surgeon was available because they were treating COVID patients. What do you say to them? I want to know what your answer for that is because I don't have, where is that answer? Where is that answer? Give me that answer. The hospitals are full. Where is your answer? Where do you do for that? The hospitals are full with unvaccinated COVID patients. Please tell me what your solution is. I'm all ears. I don't hear one other than it's Nazis for mandate. How does surgeries treat COVID? Is he saying that like they were, maybe they were first in line for their surgeries because they did have COVID? That wouldn't make sense either. They wouldn't, I don't think they would put you under if you have something like that. I don't know where he got Okay. No one... Well, he's doing, uh, I'm going to mock you into being correct about something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's keep playing this. Dates or whatever. So I need an answer. You don't have one, do you? Got it. That's what I thought. Go to all these African countries that are begging for the vaccine and tell them, don't take it. It's control. It's the deep state. Go tell them that. I want to hear that. I want to hear what you have to say about that. Now it's the guilt. He's done several. Me, I consider argumentation no nos. Guilt appeals to authority. Probably, uh, from what I've heard or from what I've seen, considering like people who are questioning the vax or against the vax, the COVID one in particular, uh, he would definitely be straw manning. Considering the argu the arguments I heard, uh. <laughs> but yeah, well, then. and uh, logically speaking, we've seen people that beg for things that aren't even in their interests, but it's advertised as being in their interests, so they beg for it. This happened a whole bunch. History. Bikini Island, we're here to help you and save you. And then, boom, nuclear bomb tests. Or, well, radiation. Here we go. People are bringing up ivermectin. Okay, fine. Let's do more studies on it. Here's the thing about ivermectin that I, again, I'm all, ear, I'm all ears. If, if ivermectin or some other treatment works, great. If all of those things Joe, Joe Rogan took together can treat this, I'm all for it. <laughs> I just want a treatment so that we can all go back to, I, I saw that I just too, canceled Jesse. the tour two years in a row now. I just forgot to say it. Which is nothing, which pales in comparison to all of the people that are dying. They have 500,000 deaths in Brazil, by the way. 
a country with about 190 million people in it, maybe 200 million. We have 330 million people. We have 600,000 deaths and counting. Now, has, has he heard the actual counter arguments to any of this? Okay. That would be a problem. I get it. Like you're mocking things and then you end up being wrong about it. I get that. Hey, people do that. I get that. But if you have, you know, some sort of like counter argument that you're just absolutely ignoring, or you do see it and then you're just, you know, no, 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 no. That's, yeah. But I don't know his particular scenario, what he's actually looked into or not. Right, here we go. So. I'm all for ivermectin. ivermectin. Here's the problem I have with iver ivermectin or whatever the fuck, however you say that thing. Merrick Pharmaceuticals, the manufacturer of it, says it's not to be used for COVID. Don't you think Merck Pharmaceuticals that only gives a shit about money, these pharmaceutical com companies only care about money. They only care about money. Wouldn't they be screaming from the mountaintops? Hey, this ivermectin works. It works. Wouldn't they be pressuring the FDA to go get this approved? We want this out in the marketplace. All those politicians that they donate money to, they'd be like, you guys need to get on and start talking about ivermectin. All the media companies that Merck Pharmaceuticals buy ad time would all be going, ah, maybe this ivermectin works. It doesn't so far as we know. It Once again, there's too many holes in that type of logic. Uh, first of all, you're you're still doing like the the 2006 argument for politics of it's just about money. It's just about money. It's just about money. You look, you can make a NASCAR suit out of all their donors and shit like that. Pretty pretty old thinking, but okay. But then you look at once again a Nancy Pelosi, who's you know very rich, right? Very, very rich. But at the same time, she'd become like, not only filthy rich, but filth, like super popular if she would have turned George Bush over. Said, hey, these guys are fucking lying about this shit. You know, she could have waited years later, probably been more advantageous, but. <laughs> hey, Nancy would have been like cheered on to be the house leader forever and ever and ever. No, don't leave us, Nancy. This fucker would have been cheering her on. He's a hero. Just saying, logically speaking, there's a whole lot. Like, we talk about this. I made a video about it, the Dark Knight theory. Sorry for Batman. The Dark Knight theory in regards to, like, you know, hey, hey, wouldn't you make more money by making the best possible product or whatever the fuck? Right? But it always it doesn't always work that way. Uh, these guys almost like if this guy was Vosh or thought like Vosh, they will take these things and try to put push you into a corner in regards to argumentation. Okay, then what what is their motive then? Huh? Is it all big conspiracy? All all men in uh, smoky rooms planning out world blah blah blah. That's exact. I know that's exactly what Vosh would do. Point blank. Yeah. All right. Here we go. It doesn't, because the manufacturer. Why would they? Why would they say it doesn't work if it did? It doesn't make sense. They're missing out on trillions of dollars, literally, if it worked. I mean, like, I I can't hear any. There's no. I don't hear any reasonable arguments for any of this. So. A lot of hospitals being full of verified lies. Well, by what? By who? By what? Verified lies where? Go to the hospitals. Go. Go check for yourself. Is he going to go apeshit? Lies. Oh, Christ. Joe Rogan cured himself of ivermectin. Look, I'm glad Joe Rogan's healthy. But A, he didn't just cure himself with ivermectin. Read, listen to his Instagram. We said, I took all these things. I took this drip. I took these vitamins. I took this and this and this and this and this. Okay. Can you afford that? Are you in as good a shape as Joe Rogan? Are you in as good a shape as Joe Rogan? 
do you have a state-of-the-art workout facility in your multi-million dollar compound in Texas where you have access to literally the best professional personal trainers, fitness technology, nutritionists, that you're Joe Rogan. He has that, he can fucking call Neil deGrasse Tyson. I mean, he has UFC trainers and fighters at his beck and call that he can just, he has the best train. What do you think? Got, he's 50 some years old and he's the best, he's in amazing shape. Do you also have this access to the same type of healthcare that somebody worth a hundred million dollars does? I don't. Now that argument's fair in regards to Rogan's particular scenario. If you want to be scientific about it, like, oh, maybe it was Rogan's trainers and blah, 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 and all that shit. But that would beg you to start looking for, uh, that doesn't dismiss the ivermectin argument at all. It only throws some sort of suspension of disbelief in regards to the Rogan scenario in particular, but not overall. Thus, it would beg you, you know, if you really want to know about it, like, what's the answer to this? would beg you to look at to more cases of people taking ivermectin who don't have access to trainers and all that shit that Rogan has. Anyways. If you answered no to any of those questions, you might want to think about the vaccine. See, I don't see how, I don't see how you just leap to that. I don't know. It, why are you putting it in a, like do this over that type of scenario while also making the claim that other, like you're not a scientist. And this one scientist that questioned this is, he wasn't peer reviewed. And like, it, 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 I don't like the way it's argued. Yeah, I'm willing to hear other arguments. It's just, like I said, I've kind of stayed agnostic on it, but he, <laughs> And I'm willing to hear the arguments, which is I don't hear it too well. I don't hear like a sound one, really. Here we go. Doctor said this great thing. All right, I'm all this, I'm all ears to different things, but unless it's a peer-reviewed study, did 90% of all doctors say this? No, they don't. Then it's not, I'm sorry. Rolling Stone retracted. Oh, Jesus. Go to the hospitals in your neighborhood. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't make those. You can't argue that way. But you guys should be able to just see that, in my opinion. Go talk Hopefully to you just see, see what it. it says. See what it says. Rolling Stone retracted. Do your own research. Isn't that what everybody said? Do your own research. Drive to your own hospital's COVID ward and ask them. Go walk. Just walk in there off the street and say, I want to know how bad is it. Walk in off the street and ask them. Don't read this thing, this tweet, this guy, or somebody on YouTube. Go do your own research. Isn't that your guy's own thing? Do your own research. Graham, do you trust pharmaceutical companies? Not to a certain, I mean, there's a lot I, I, I'm very critical of because they're all about for-profit, but that doesn't mean medicines are bad. It means our for-profit healthcare system is bad. So you tell me, man. I want to, I, I, can, I, can anyone answer these questions for me? Because I don't hear anybody answering these questions. I don't hear anybody saying anything about the only thing you can come back with is what? The R Rolling Stone retracted? Okay, you didn't answer the third world country thing. You didn't answer why Merck Pharmaceuticals doesn't endorse their own drug that they would make a lot of money from. You can't answer these questions. It's always just, well, this and this one thing. I list 10 things. You go, well, one, one thing. Okay, what about the other nine? Uh, once again, like, I'm sorry. All I got is like the logic of it. To be honest with you, not all I have, but most of what I have is the logic behind it. And a company or whatever, whoever makes ivermectin, right? Like, if you start saying, like, yeah, our thing works, and you start mass producing it, even though the people who are making the vaccines don't really understand what COVID is either, right? The thing, do they really understand it? Like, because if you, if you truly understand the thing, then you truly understand, like, the, the vaccine that would, like, guarantee work regards to but uh, i could i could be wrong about that but right i the people who make the ivermectin right or whatever companies make it or whatever uh yeah that's a risky thing to just come out and say like, yeah we have the cure yeah because we just want money cure yeah <laughs> we have the cure like that's a risky thing in regards to this and then a, a lot of people have, t have told me that 
like, well, if they're reporting the numbers wrong as far as like people dying from COVID in the first place, right? Like it could be someone with a bullet in their in their head. Yep, COVID got them. <laughs> right? Like if that's the case, that's an exaggeration. But if they're reporting the numbers incorrectly, then they can still essentially knock down something like ivermectin. In fact, make them look bad in regards to being some like some type of like cure or whatever. Just saying. And also, like, has it has they have they got testing for that, James? Have they done ivermectin trials or anything like that in regards to specifically for for treatment for COVID? If they haven't, then all this pre-smear doesn't make sense. Selling Pfizer mect. <laughs> of course. I'm just saying. All right, here we go. That'd be this would be wild to say if there if he hasn't done any if there isn't any clinical trials of it at all. You'd figure you figured you'd take any any type of precaution or any type of uh, possible thing that would work. You try to you try to take whatever it is uh, if you think it's a possible cure for something. Like fuck, we better test this. Really figure this out. But here we go. Nine things I just listed. Can you answer them? You cannot answer them. This is going on as a segment because this is ridiculous. I'm tired of this crap. I'm so sick of people. It's a first world privilege Time to check. refuse Damn. a vaccine. It is a first world privilege. Do you know that? All these protests in first world countries, Australia, Europe, America, these are first world countries that all have fantastic health care. America has great health care. It's expensive because it's for profit. Relative to who? What do you say to these poor countries that are literally saying to the UN and the World Health Organization, hey, we're dying here. Why are first world countries not sending us? Because they can't make money. That's why. That's the angle. That's the criticism of, of pharmaceutical companies with regards to this vaccine. That's the angle you should be taking because those are the facts. Not one doctor had one un unverified study. A doctor in this country said this thing. All right. Are they experts? And even well, I, I already established my YouTube. logic and he's just repeating the same like points over and over. What the fuck do they know? Right? It's like you don't go to an eye doctor when your heart's having trouble. Like the eye doctor knows basic biology, knows how the heart works and the pulmonary system works, but that's not their field of Is expertise. That fair? So that's the other thing too. Th these doctors that are like making, trying to make names for themselves. I don't know, maybe they're doing it for the right reasons. I don't know what, maybe they're just trying to get names and clicks that are on YouTube. Real doctors put their shit in medical journals and then peer reviewed. You know what peer reviewed means? Once again, he's, he's repeating the same logic that I already, like there's already holes in that, that logic. Everybody in that field, all these doctors, yeah who have all the um, same degrees and all the same expertise weigh in and look through that doctor's information and try to poke holes in it. If they can't, then you got a pretty good study. If they can, you miss something. That's the scientific method. So I, I don't, don't give me one study. Don't give me one doctor. When nine, if 90% of all doctors say ivermectin actually works now, we've done more research. We found well, there's more case studies. We can study uh, this and go over oh, ivermectin. That's a point I would have missed. Like, is it really just one doctor? Even I'm, I'm, even I'm aware of that. For some reason I didn't come to mind immediately. I'm like, he might be referring to like one video he's seen because he probably doesn't want to do the research on it while also trying to stand on a side of the argument, which doesn't make sense to me. Okay. And he made the comparison of an eye doctor to a heart doctor. Um, yeah. Well, there might be someone who understands I mean, how vaccines work, but another person might understand uh, virology. Uh, I can't say that word. Virology, is that how I say? Like, yeah, they kind of 
go together. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. For Mecton works. I'm all ears. But Joe Rogan is not you, is not your case study. It's like, well, Trump beat it. Trump didn't have the vaccine. Yeah, he was the president. He literally had the Surgeon General coming to his house. <laughs> he got $1.5 million in medical treatment. Are you going to get that? I'm not. Not with my shitty Ob Obamacare, I'm not. So if my hospitals are full, which my hospitals are full where I'm at, and I get in a car accident, heart attack, gallstones, and if your appendix burst, I hope they got bed space for you. Can you answer how, where, what are we going to do with the bed space thing? You want to run that risk? I don't. It's about the public good. All I'm hearing, the no max mandate, no passport people, it's all them, selfish me. I don't want me, me, me. None of them are thinking about the greater good. Not a goddamn one of them. Not one of them. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> that one's a wow. He said that before, but it got lost in the, all the other bullshit he was saying. <laughs> but, uh, you know, alleged bullshit that he was saying. But that one right there, that's... There's certain things you're, I don't know, you're not supposed to be doing when you're trying to make an argument for something. Like, if your point is to make the world healthier because you think the vaccine is the way, like, really talk about it then. Don't just try to guilt trip, <laughs> guilt trip people into your side of thinking or shame them into your side of thinking or the constant appeals to authority or the constant straw manning. This does is this is not how you get your point across, Graham. If you want to convince people to take the vaccine or whatever, it's a it it would be dishonest. Even though this could be like your honest stance, it still is a it's such a poor argument that it resembles dishonesty. Take I take uh, intention into. It. Hello, Mishka. Papushka. Yeah. Here we go. How did we cure polio? How did we cure mumps? How did we cure measles? How did we cure those things? Is it all fake science? Is all of the news fake news? Just fake, 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 fake. All of it fake? So when they reported on Hurricane Ida, was that fake news? Was it just a light drizzle? There's something special that happens. Like, let's say, <laughs> let's say we're arguing something like foreign policy, right? Like, let's say, like me, like as you guys know me and my stances in regards to foreign policy about any topic. You say Syria or whatever the fuck, right? Let's say I do that, but then I pick out the worst, like, straight up cardboard cutout of mainstream media narrative of Syria and someone who can't back up the argument. And I point them out and I say, see, look, we had a real argument about Syria. Point the guy out with the worst fucking argument. I picked them out. That's kind of what he's doing here. I'm sure there's some weird, like there's guys on the internet saying, it's all fake, everything's fake, and Dave Chappelle's a clone, and I'm sure there's guys out there. I've, I've, seen, it, I've seen it before. I'm sure they're out there. But is that who you pick in regards to like something like this? Is that the real, is where the real argument happening at? Like that, it would be raw manning. <laughs> Maybe you thought no one would see it. I know he clipped it for a video. I mean, uh, we got ratio too. Yeah. Uh, here we go. It can't, everything can't be fake. All medicines can't be bad. And I'm a guy who rarely takes pharmaceutical. I'm all. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to swag us into into uh, his side of thinking. All right, here we go. All for the all-natural fix. I'm all for it. Until it gets so severe that the all-natural homeopathic version isn't working, then I go to my doctor. So if you can answer any of these questions... Can you answer, and not one of them, all of them that I just brought up. Don't give me, well, I read that it's not that bad in India. That's not answering the question. So the whole continent of Africa. Answer that, answer all hey, of the questions in this chat. I laid out. All of these You'd have to go to the live stream to see them. All the complaints uh, for the vaccine, uh, the passports and everything are only up, coming from first world countries. What about the full hospitals? Mystery, and the full hospitals, mystery. What do we do? Mystery. What do we do with that? What do we do? What do we do if there's not enough hospital beds Sh and there's a mass casualty Anderson, event, like a fire, a hurricane? What do we do? Where do the people go? How do you, what happens since you only care about yourself? What happens if you get sick? What happens if you have to go to the hospital? What happens if one of your loved, what if your kid falls down and you need to get emergency help, but there's no doctors or nurses available? How do you say to all these nurses and doctors that have walked off the job? What do you say to that? What do you say to that? Give me a goddamn answer to all of these questions. If you can answer all of those questions, okay, I'll listen, but you can't. Kind of performing at that. Hey, everybody. Ron Placone and I had to cancel all of Okay. That was a bit of a performance at the end right there. <laughs> All right. So there it is. There's the Graham Elwood video. I have finally seen it and it doesn't really give me much to work. I would say if someone wanted, if someone was like walking in mystery but had serious questions about the vaccine or about whatever, whatever the mainstream narrative, whatever the fuck, if you have questions about that, but you still you like you kind of lean towards the side and you want to have a serious argument, that that guy, those type of arguments are probably not the ones to have him with. Like if you're gonna platform it and be like, hey. Let's have a real discussion about this so people can make more informed decisions. That's not the guy. He's going to say shit like that, apparently. Of, uh, what, do you hate Africa, huh? Like, that's kind of like what he's doing as far as his argumentation. And, uh, like I've said many times, I'm not some expert on this topic at all. But the logic of his statements and how he's trying to argue it 90% of that did not make any sense. It seemed more like you're shit talking to your audience as opposed to making an argument for or against something. That's what, that's what I got. Uh, what's up, Shadow? Don't forget to subscribe if you feel like. Comment, agree, disagree. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to share support. Hopefully donate to all the links in the description box. Check them out. We got charities, we got other content creators. We allegedly have OCB. All links are in the description box. <laughs> Please check them out. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down.